For today's quiz, we have a very slight slope on a piece of metal channel. One is bent. We bend it as much as we could before it would break the aluminum. We're gonna have a race between two metal spheres. They're gonna start here, they're gonna end over here. You can see that the first is nice and straight, just a linear path. This particular channel dives way down and then comes back up. Starting line and finish line are as you can see. This is what our quiz looks like. As always, please write what you're thinking and then list your confidence on that thinking. All right, let's go over typical student responses. First response is clearly, it doesn't matter. If you're starting at the same height here and ending at the same height here, they're gonna be the same. This one will end up going maybe a little faster here, but it slows back down going up the hill, and therefore it's gonna just be going the same speed. And uh, others will say, well, it's hard to tell because this one's nice and linear and it always has a constant acceleration. This one does not. So those are the two answers that we get most often. Okay, let's actually do the race. So we have ball one and ball two. And if I let them go, you see it's not really a race at all. This curve piece, which dips way down, is much, much faster in terms of time, quicker time than the linear. The reason for that is that, think about this, you're converting some of your energy of height, potential energy, into kinetic and going very, very fast. And then you will eventually come back up to a height that's a little lower than that, so it would slow down. But notice that you've borrowed some of that energy from, or cashed in some of your energy from that height into velocity. And this linear uh, track is going to very, very slowly and meticulously accelerate a little bit faster and faster and faster. But it's not really a race at all. The curved one absolutely beats uh, the linear one. And that's your quiz for today. Let's go over a, a real life application of this. Many of us have seen this. We've gone to a bowling alley. Bowling alleys need to return a bowling ball from one side to the other side of the hall so that you can bowl again. And if you are waiting for your bowling ball to come down here very, very slowly, that's going to be a little bit frustrating for people. So what bowling alleys do is they'll start the ball once the machine collects it. They'll roll it down a steep slope. That ball is going to end up going very fast across the entire hall, across the alley. It'll get that distance covered in a very short period of time. But you don't want the ball to end up smacking at a high velocity into the other balls. So what they do is at the very end, they bring that height nearly to the same height as where it started and a ball rolling loses very little energy. So it'll almost have just enough to come over the top and very, very, very slowly enter the place where you would grab the ball. So we do this all the time. Um, so next time you're bowling, think of this apparatus. All right, that's your quiz.